Yeah. Yeah, I did. Yep. Who's who's that? Yeah. I can't see. Steve, Steve Zobro, yeah. Steve yeah. Zobro made money. Tell us about it quickly, Steve. It was a seller financing note. I do work on seller financing. Uh, this, this, there was a property that sold for about 285000 and they put like $80,000 down. And there was a $180,000 note. And I sent some people some marketing. And then I went through the, all the, you know, the agenda, qualification, closed, the social proof, and went through all the systems. And I got them closed on the, on the property. It's, the balance is about 178 right now. We got it right now, a contract for 160 I had the wife sign. I had the husband sign. So... The key is I used all the techniques in regards to the, you know, the gut system, you know, agenda, qualification, close, social proof, reciprocity, you know, legibility, and just doing all those things. And it just all flowed. I sent that right at the end. I sent them a picture, uh, a video with the contract. He saw Follow up. Wife saw. Yeah. So I had a little video, a little two minute video, sent the agreement with him, had his wife look at it. He looked at it. And, uh, but I mean, it was tough. And we had, had some objections that came on and I just, Follow the system and went through. So it was pretty cool. Good Fantastic. Time. Can we round numbers? I'm being nosy here. Can we ask how much you made? Well, well I'll be right around right around three thousand. But I have a contract. So the balance was like one seventy eight. I've got a company that's going to pay about one sixty three for it. So I've got them at one sixty. So about three thousand. I mean, not a lot, but it's, the key is just using the techniques and, and seeing how it works. So exactly. How much time do you think you put into this? I thought it made less than an hour. That, that's fantastic. And the thing about it is not how much you made, but can you do this over and over again right. using these techniques that you, you um, told us about, the scarcity, oh. the reciprocity, the right. redirection and everything. Do you see yourself doing this on a consistent basis? Oh, totally, yeah, because once you, once you do it one or two times, it's like, I can do that. You know, and you start using the system, you know. So yeah, it, definitely. It's, real, it's really funny. And the more people you speak to using this system, Try not to fall off the wagon, if, as they say, you know, keep using the system and everything. You're just going to see more consistency, more deals, more yeses, more contracts. And you're going to, how do you, do you feel better about yourself selling this way as opposed to the way you used to sell? Well, it's kind of cool because once I said you can fire me, he started laughing. So I said, it's okay to ask some questions. And I said, you can fire me. He started laughing. So I had him laughing. And then I was able to ask more questions. I, I was like a doctor. All I did was just ask ask the right questions, find his emotional pain. And then I went through the whole, would you like to talk about money up front and then the commitment, consistency. And I just stuck with it. I said, you know, we got to get a commit, commitment up 24 hours. So I was very firm with that. So nice, just nice, nice going, nice going, man. A round of applause for Steve Zobro. Steve, um, that $3,000, I have a truckload of SpongeBob face masks. You wouldn't be interested, would you? Can you send it to me in the next maybe 24 hours? I'll send you $1,500 down. And can you, will you be able to take the other $1,500 maybe in a payment? There you go. There you go. I think we might have a deal. <laughs> <laughs> anybody else? Who, anybody made any money last week? Anybody have an experience? Go ahead, Mr. Richardson. Unmute yourself. You got to unmute yourself, Mark. There you go. I, I did a uh, my first consulting um, with a tenant buyer. Wow. So basically what it was is we had a deal, a lease option deal in Bakersfield and taken in all the calls. And I actually would have used her as our tenant buyer because she was, she had more money. Um, but we had already agreed on a contract with somebody else. So basically I just talked to her, used the gut stuff with her, um, set up, um, set up a, uh, you know, basically a consulting thing with helping. She wants to try to find a place. So I'm just helping her find a place, basically. Um, showing her how to, how to look, how to market, how to uh, text, do the text thing with sellers and um, renters. And um, did our first uh, Zoom coaching thing yesterday. Went great. She's super stoked. Um, that's about it. So it was pretty simple, pretty simple deal, pretty easy. She was super motivated her needs and greeds were that she's in a house that they're selling right now and um she wants to get a bigger house because she wants to um get some foster kids so she's got a great heart great you know looking to do the right things for herself she's a single mom so that's great what did you what did that feel like getting paid for your time knowledge and energy getting it someone was awesome, to pay man. You? It, it gave me so much confidence and just made me feel you know, I was super stoked about it. So and it, it was, uh, yeah, it was awesome. It was really can, good. Can we round numbers? Can I be nosy here? You can say, yeah, I only, I only charged her 500 bucks. Okay. I charged her a lot more, but you know, it was, 
I sort of puckered up on the money thing. Okay. You know, there, my mentor Max used to say people earn exactly what they think they're worth. This was your first actual consultation in lease purchasing. So right in your head, you thought $500 is reasonable that, and everything. Next time you do this, if, if you help somebody and they make ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000, do you think your time would be worth more than 500? Absolutely. And, well, and I know what I'm doing. I know I know what I'm doing. I know I'm, I mean, she's super happy about it. I did, I was really detailed, had a plan, have a plan all set up for her. So it's like, you know, when I look back, I, I, I you know, I know I'm worth more than $500 for sure. That's wonderful. Congratulations, man. Nice doing. Keep doing that. Whenever you get a property, you don't want to touch it. It's not practical logistically. It's it's just too far away. It needs too much. It, it's just not your kind of deal. Switch to consulting mode. Okay. Or or just get some role play practice sometimes just to make yourself sharper. There are other 